Hey guys, uh, Pyro Looking Coil here. Um, just to let you know that my my name is Peter. To be honest with everyone, you probably heard my name called a few times anyway during my videos. Um, just want to say Happy New Year, to everyone. And my cats I saw in the back of the camera. Um, thank you for everyone that watches uh, this channel. Um, also. I'm probably going to be keeping this channel mostly the same from now on, uh, lighting fireworks on holidays, observances, stuff like that, but I'm also starting, uh, I don't want to call it a show, a weekly show, but it's going to be something like this, like once a week, or hopefully try to do it once a week, of me just talking about fireworks stuff, or you know, maybe I will light some fireworks, maybe I won't, it could be just something from just smoke balls, or spinners, or fountains, um, None of the big stuff, none of the aerials. Uh, also, most of you probably know that I live in northern New Jersey, about 20 minutes away from the George Washington Bridge. I can see the city from my house because I live, live up pretty high in elevation compared to everywhere else. Um, so because I live in New Jersey, most aerial, all aerial fireworks are illegal. Uh, only ground-based, safe and sane fireworks are illegal. Most stop and shops, Acme, shop rights, during the major holidays, sell the fireworks. Uh, there is a couple party stores in the area that I can buy fire some fireworks all year long. And Pennsylvania is uh, about 45 minutes away, so I do take some trips out there and I buy a bunch of stuff. And that's mostly what you guys have been seeing in the last year. But like I said, I'm gonna keep the way I do things um, on holidays and stuff. Like, like in the major holidays, lighting a lot of fireworks and like you know, part one, part two, and all that. And holidays like uh, St. Patrick's Day, Easter, Halloween, just one big video instead of having to do a bunch of parts and all that. It, it I don't really use much into editing. I don't have any editing tools. So I just use what my Microsoft 10 has. Um, I'm probably never gonna buy editing tools. You know, I I don't spend too much time doing it. I work just like everyone else does. I work uh, 40 hours a week, uh, I have kids, I have family, so I can't spend too much time doing it, but my passion is fireworks, I always loved fireworks since I was a little kid, so I, I love doing it, I'm always going to do it, as you see I have tons of fireworks here, fireworks everywhere in, in, in my garage here, um, so yeah, once again thank you for uh, watching this channel, and hopefully maybe I can get this channel a lot bigger than it is, uh, I'm not pushing my channel like maybe some people do, and I'm just keeping it simple, but I would love this channel to get bigger, more views, uh, more people ask me to do this, get that. And, you know, I, I, I try to listen to you guys, what you say, and you say, hey, I saw this, and can you like that? And if I have it, I, I will do it. You know, I'm pretty cool like that. But, uh, yeah, so, once again, thank you. And let's light some fireworks. So, um, I'm outside now. <laughs> Literally a few feet from where I was doing the first part of that video, which was right in there. All right. Um, oh, it might be too dark to even see this. Hold on. Let me get the light on here. Hold on, guys. Some simple things, and this is how I'm probably gonna keep it if I continue doing this show. If I have time to do this show all the time, I'm gonna, like I said, try my best to do some sort of weekly show because I probably didn't explain it before. Another part of the reason why I'm doing this is sometimes holidays and observance days are too far apart and just like any pyro I get a little anxious to do fireworks so I need a reason to light fireworks and, and share it with you guys so that's why I came up with doing this like weekly quote unquote show so let's just take a walk if you guys have seen my backyard plenty of times probably can't see anything now it's too dark And Barbecue Rando, this is for you. This is what I'm calling my launching pad. This is the Lincoln Coil launching pad now. All right, so let's go back to where I have the fireworks. And also, you guys probably seen by now that I do fireworks in a certain order. Yes, that's my little little way of doing things. We call it OCD. I don't know. <laughs> um, 
I start with simple things all the time and work my up with novelties and if you guys really want to know with all the fireworks I light and all the things that go in the air and all the cool stuff this stuff right here is my favorite it always has been since I was a kid I've always loved jumping jacks and ground novelties like tanks and all the all those little stupid things I, I love that stuff and I am a fountain person I like fountains it's not because that's what's just legal here I enjoy doing fountains they're, they're fun for me a lot of people don't like them I like them it is what it is so yeah, uh, so, this is all cutting edge stuff, and just as always, I'm going to start with the jumping jacks. So now we're on the launching pad. Now, before I even start this, when I was younger, I used to take these all apart, all one, and light them one at a time. Guess I'm too lazy to do that now, now it's just light them all at once. There we go. That was a pretty good one. Alright, so now we're going to do this uh, cutting edge tank with Star. I've done this numerous, numerous times. good all right so this is violet and crimson fountain at cutting edge quick little fountain I enjoy this one not bad not bad and last, this is the cutting edge silver chrysanthemum. Uh, sort of been new. I've been lighting this one in the last month or so. It's been been getting this one out of the assortments from the Sky King. Let's get this one started. Reds are really bright. I love it. So, like I said, I'm gonna mostly keep it the way that was. Light a few things, different things here and there. I'll light for you guys once a week. It'll be nothing big. I apologize for that. I cannot take a chance of lighting the good stuff on a weekly basis I'll probably start pissing off a lot of neighbors and we don't want that because then I won't be able to do anything so holiday times Memorial Day will be the the next big one I picked up some good stuff the last time I went to Pennsylvania so I got different stuff lined up for the major holidays Memorial Day 4th of July have it all planned I'm just showing you guys some of the stuff I have here this is uh all this shelf here is just TNT stuff, which is primarily just sold in most of the food stores here that I mentioned before. It's, it's all TNT. It's unfortunate. I really don't care for it that much. I know a lot of people don't like TNT that much, but it is what it is. That's mostly what I can get, so I'd rather have TNT than have nothing at all. In here is just a bunch of different things. So, this is like summer stuff that I'm saving for. All fountains here, you know, everyone knows it would be fountains, sorted fountains, those are cuckoos back there, which I still don't know what brand that is, those cuckoo fountains, still waiting for someone to tell me. Uh, that's what I just lit, some ground novelties, T-Force tank, I got a chopper back there somewhere, some cool stuff, and I've mentioned this big boy before plenty of times, uh, I think this thing is called the crowd pleaser. It was a hundred or a hundred and fifty that I got at BJ's. It is massive, guys. It's a massive box. It has a lot of stuff in there, and I, my plan is to open it either before Memorial Day or before Fourth of July. Um, majority of this stuff in there, I've 
lit in plenty of times though. It's not like there's many surprises in there. And in here, I have I think 10 boxes. All decent sized boxes. Most of them I've done unboxings of. Some of them I haven't yet. All TNT stuff. Eventually, I'll get to them. Uh, also, before I finish this video, because I'm running out of battery power, I have to charge my camera. Uh, if I did any unboxings in a particular year and I come to another one that I have, again, that I've done one on, if there's different stuff in it, I'm probably going to do an unboxing on it again. So just uh, keep that in mind. Uh, other than that, it's good talking, and I'll see you soon.